Okay, let's cover some more of the basics of palette manipulation in general. You can move things around yourself, which I'll be showing you a little later. Uh, you can also, uh, here's the, the general palette manip manipulation tab. Uh, if you click on this little hammer, the, the tool specifically for moving colors around and rearranging the palette. Uh, there's a lot of them I'll cover in a little bit. But you can also, under functions, have the software itself do a lot of uh, organization for you. For instance, you can tell it to sort the entire palette, or actually parts of the palette, which I'll show you later, um, by different criteria like brightness, hue, saturation, color, or popularity. Um, we're going to choose by color. And as you can see, the image now looks really strange, because while it did rearrange the indices, which colors are in the indices, it did not update the pixels within the art to use the new indices. So after you do such a sort, the very first thing you want to do is click on Remap Colors here. If you don't do that and you continue to manipulate the palette, the program has to assume that that end result of the weird colors being used is what you are after. So make sure whenever you use some kind of palette sort uh, function like that, that you immediately remap to fix uh, which pixels are using which colors. 